Hey guys, so today's going to be a video on Robo Hamster history. So in this video, I have my two Robo Hamsters, Sephora and L'Oreal. Sephora is the Agouti Robo Hamster that you just saw run into the house, and L'Oreal is the Head Spot Robo Hamster. And I'm filming this video outside, so sorry if you guys hear any background noises. First off, Robo Hamsters are the smallest species of hamsters, which measure out to under an inch at birth and can grow out to three inches or four to five centimeters in adulthood. They also live the longest out of any hamster, living up to three to three and a half years in captivity and two years in the wild. Robos are actually quite a new pet kept nowadays. The binomial name for robos is Fodophus robrovski. They are also called desert hamsters, robo hamsters, or robrovski hamsters as their nickname. The natural coat color for a robo is the agouti color, which is the coat coloring that Sephora has. It consists of a tan sandy color as the top coat, along with a black undercoat. The white part is the feet, nose, and fur behind the ears. Robos are most well known for the cute little white eyebrows that they display. Because robos have not been around for quite as long as other hamsters, they don't have as many color mutations in captivity such as the Syrian hamster. Robos originate from the Gobi Desert through Mongolia's desert to Kakistan, Russia to northern China. Robos are well suited for the desert light because of their great efficiency to water. They dig and live in burrows and tunnels up to six feet deep and sleep in them during the day. They get up at dusk, which is one of their most active times of their day, and come back to their home around dawn, the other most active part of their day. So now I'll be getting into the history of robos with human contact. And I'm sorry if I pronounce any names wrong during this little section, but there are a lot of long, different names. Lieutenant Vesselbolhad Robrovsky was the first person to make note of these hamsters while on an expedition in July of 1894. Although they were not really scientifically studied until another decade, until Constantin A. Sutanen made observations in 1903. Robos were brought into the London Zoo located in the UK in the 1960s. However, the first robos studied in Britain were in the 1970s in the Moscow Zoo. None of these hamsters bore offspring, though. Other European countries were more successful in breeding robos obtained from Russia. Then, the first robo that arrived in the pet market arrived in the UK in 1990. It is actually believed that robos sold in the UK are now descendants of a batch of hamsters imported from the Netherlands. It was until 1998 that the robos were brought to the U.S. when bought by a hamster breed. So yeah, guys, that is it on my video of Robo Hamster History. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a lot new things about robos. Doing research for this video definitely made me learn a lot more things about robos, so I hope you guys did too. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!